how to upload VR games to the Meta Store. Okay. Uh, I just had someone on Discord ask me how to do this, and so I'm gonna start uh, showing you how to do that. Exactly what he was asking about uh, and some of the details. Because uh, I looked on YouTube and all I could find was uh, just a short version. So I'm going to go over uh, at least the legal stuff that I can go over uh, without showing my business information. Okay, so first of all, you do need a business uh, and a credit card and all that to be able to get paid and to be able to be legally on the store, right? Because these are games you're publishing. Um, and so in order to do that, you first need your meta account to be a developer account. And once you do that, you have to go through a certification process. Once you do that, you can create, uh, upload your, your build and do certain things. So I'm going to go exactly after you set up your organization, or if you have a buddy, they can set up an organization and I'll show you here what I did for uh for this guy so this is my organization um members and here you can set up roles and he wants to make a, a ghost tag game and so i created the role and so then in the app or not in the in the in here let's see in the business uh, my app he can then go into his app and do all that he wants right and so you can have a friend, if you have a friend that has a business and can uh, set up these, you can kind of say, hey, can you add me to your organization and can I build an app through them? And they can do that for you. Um, so in here, okay, so now once you have that, it's like, well, how do I update the picture? How do I update all this stuff? You have a huge list of to-dos, uh, but let's go over the, the art first because that's what you care about. That's what usually people ask for. So I'm gonna go in the order they ask and then kind of how uh, to go through all these other legal stuff that's uh, boring, but it's needed, especially if you're gonna make money once the game launches. Um, okay, so let's see. If I go up to the app, app overview. Okay, so when you see the app, app submission, this is where you go. You click here, now you're ready you don't want to submit you just want to save changes as you go through this because uh, it's a long process there's a lot of things you need to check for but let's go into the the details first let's go into the art right here the assets there's a list of tons of images you can upload and eventually you'll have to upload most of them uh, what I found out for me if you don't have Photoshop you can go to canva.com and use them to size uh, what you, whatever you want and so I'm going to upload something uh, just as a temp thing. I have a uh, mid journey. So I use that to create some kind of ghost uh, to, to show uh, what I'm talking about. Okay. So I'm on Canva and I downloaded an image. And so in here, uh, there's a logo uh, and they give you the size. So in Canva, you can resize things. Um, so usually you either resize or create the different templates, name it whatever you need to, to keep them organized and then download them. Uh, so for cover art, I think I have one. So I'm gonna choose file on computer, cover art, there it is. And it shows you in the borders what what's gonna be showing. What's the, in case when you have a title and things you want players to see, you'll put that there. Okay, so I'll just put this as a cover art. See, and it's updating. And then if I hit save changes, it'll start, it'll update. Okay, and then now we go, let's check. Um, let's see, apps, my apps. So it'll take a while to do that, but start submission, we can go back. Um, and it'll take a while to, to figure out which ones because you have also the square um, and the portrait and all that. So that's how you update the images in here, right? Hero cover art, uh, this is not the same size. And if you upload the wrong size, I'll show you what happens. See, it says the dimensions are invalid. So you need to make sure that it's the right uh, dimensions. And you can do that in Canva. In Canva, they let you upload your own picture. Um, so it's really nice. Uh, you can have videos for trailers and the cover image. 
And then once you update these, it'll update and propagate to your game so that people will see this when they see your game instead of a orange thing with nothing. Okay. The other thing is the name, the short description, um, Gorilla Tatan game. Uh, where you are a ghost. Uh, do, 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 stuff like that. And then you can always save it, edit it later. There's no issues. Uh, and here, early access, library. Uh, you always want to, I, my advice is to always say yes, early access, enable it. Uh, for game modes, for example, this one, uh, for Gorilla Tag clones and any other things, you want multiplayer. So this is where it starts getting interesting, okay? Because it's a rabbit hole, okay? So I'm going to go and, and show you, okay? Uh, supported controllers, touch controllers, um, comfort level, probably intense. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, internet connection. If it's a multiplayer game, it is, you need to put require. Subscription, uh, not require. Category, games. Genre, um, action social right stuff like that and then block the devices it'll block the quest because the quest is not allowed anymore you can't build for quest uh, social features messaging audio if you have voice chat so you have to put yes there and the end so that's all you know these are pretty straightforward so let's do game modes we want to do multiplayer how do we do that it says right here go to user reporting we're gonna go there um, Oh no, that's the documentation. So for, sorry, that, in, in here on the left, you'll go to data use checkup and you have to add um, a reporting feature in here. Let me check, reporting. Oh, so in here it, it is in that link, okay? So in that link, it takes you to engagement, user reporting, and we get started. And in here, it tells you why you're, all these, um, all the features that you can put for reporting. And if you want to add more in here, you can, but these are the, like the minimum that it says you probably do. And then it asks you how you're going to report it. If you're going to use your own plugin or you're going to use Oculus reporting. And so it's nice fallback to just do this. And that way, when people click the Oculus button to report somebody, they can, um, in here, and then you can add custom reasons if you want. And again, uh, you can upload media for this. But the idea is that you activate this, right? And it says, okay, updates, continue. Generate key, oh, I can't show you this, so I'm gonna move it to the side. Um, generate key, copy back. So once you generate the key, continue, you save the key. Okay, so now this is what it looks like after you did the key. Anytime you wanna uh, look at your reporting, you go in here, okay? And you paste the key and then you'll be able to submit and then you can see uh, the reports coming in and you can choose what to do about it, okay? Um, so once you have that, we can go back to submission. Um, also be aware that um, the, the meta store changes. Like for example, in here, I can change my organization if I'm in a different organization. That, this was gone for like half a day today. And so sometimes they're doing things in the back end and they don't tell us, it's crazy. So sometimes things are not where they're supposed to be. Um, you can, there's an Oculus Start program and there's people that you can ask questions. I'm building a community of developers to help other developers. Um, and uh, I'll have a link below. Uh, it'll have, that's where we help each other out because this stuff changes all the time. And so sometimes these videos become obsolete after a while, uh, but the general information is still there. Okay. So ghost tag submission. Okay. So in here, when we were in specs, now we can do multiplayer. See, so we have to do the reporting system so that you can have multiplayer. Okay. So that's one, okay? And as you go, so for the other thing, this is also part one. So I'm just showing you all the meta things that you have to do to kind of get going um, and where things are at. Okay, multiplayer. And one of the last things that you wanna do is just data use 
check up. Um, oh, it says in here, sales certification is incomplete, action required. So the, these are good pop-ups uh, that they're to give you the certification and stuff. So let's do that. Okay, so this is, I'll explain the age group. So Meta did something for in-app purchases because they don't want kids purchasing things. So what you, and being, and that way protecting kids from uh, being in multiplayer games where people are swearing and all that. And so teens and adults, if you game, or mixed ages where both, or just children, right? Is your app just for children, mixed ages, or just teen and adults? If you are trying to do in-app purchases, you'll have to do teens and adults. Otherwise, if you have mixed or un children under, you have to like disable in-app purchases. For example, in Gorilla Tag, they have shiny rocks. They, I don't think Gorilla Tag is for mixed ages unless they did something where they have to detect if you're under 13, then they've removed the ability to buy shiny rocks. So, so when you are thinking of in-game currency and if you're trying to make money that way, from a free to play game to to buy you know cosmetics and whatnot if if you have you just have to put teens and adults and then you don't have to worry about it but if you put something else like mix or children under 13 then you're gonna have to code uh for that okay in order to to be able to publish it um and so then you confirm that you're certifying this app for that and then now uh, you have so in here at the top if you always go to overview it'll tell you what your task is right confuse share figure app content uh, what are you uh, are you gonna allow people to cast live stream and video record from your game I think this is a cool new thing um, and you'll obviously want all of those for people but if you don't you can check it off there okay uh, save changes again this takes you back here but it's nice going here in case you get lost you can always go app overview and it'll tell you kind of what, where you're at right privacy poly policy this is a huge one um, so in here it, the developer is obviously the organization if you have a publisher you put the publisher here or you can just be yourself but this privacy policy you can uh, go online to get a generic one and i have one and then you what I've done, and I don't know if they're gonna um, prevent people from doing this uh, in the future, but um, what I've done is I have it on a, on a Google Drive, the link, and you can have it so that they can see it. If you have a website, you can share the website and, the, and have a page where the private so privacy policy is. So that's usually when you gather data about like the username or the backend like PlayFab and how you use that data so that people know why you're getting their information. Okay, and you have terms of service and other things. But the main thing is privacy policy. It's right here. Privacy policy describes your data practices, how you collect data, how, how you use it and how you share it if you share it with other people. Uh, and so that's good to have so that people, if if they want to trust that your game is not doing crazy things, you can do that, okay? So save again, then we go back to app overview, and now you have upload your app build. Now you can go back to Unity and go through the process of creating an APK, creating a key store, uh, the version, make sure the Android manifest file is correct, um, and all that we're gonna do in part two. But this is part one to get, get you a, oriented with these things and these menus set your app listing and price uh, submit your app for review right so these are the steps that you're trying to do uh, obviously you're going to wait uh, you can uh, in here you can want um, you can set up an alpha channel and have people play your game uh, from here without having to publish to the store so this is like a pre and in here you can set it to whatever you want you can do a url and this url would grant access to this um, version. And so you don't have to like accept people manually. This is automatic, right? And so that way you can upload and you can have people play your game uh, by following the link. Uh, and then when you, if you want your game to be live so people can see it in the store, you have to submit the game. And that's gonna take a while because uh, you need everything and it has to pass through the VRC checks and all that. But that's what I'm trying to build uh, in this YouTube 
uh, and I have a school community also to help people finish their games and also upload them and submit them to the App Store. Um, but for now, Alpha in here, you can use that to get your users to play test and get your Discord going. Uh, and if you have questions, also I'm gonna. This is the other half of uploading. So I'm gonna. This is this is how I'm gonna finish part one with is the app distribution. You're gonna use this developer hub. I'm gonna link leave a link below uh, so that you can uh, download this in your computer and you can have it because this is a PC um, build, right? The the app and you use this to submit. Like in here, we have Cactus Jam, Open Alpha, and I can upload a build. The I find the APK, and then I upload it. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Uh, you can also sideload if I connect my device. I can just add the build through this, so that I can test on my device. So this is a really handy tool. You have a bunch of other things that you can do. File manager for videos and images, um, and a lot of cool things that you can do with this. So I'm gonna link a link below so you can download this uh, in preparation. And part two will describe the Unity process, which is pretty straightforward. And there's a lot of videos out there, but not many videos about this part. And if you have any questions, anything that I missed that you wanna know about, for example, a big one that I'll do a video just for this is the data checkup. Um, engagement here, down here somewhere data use checkup. These are cool features for like user ID, profile, if you wanna use their username so they don't have to type it in. Uh, avatars, subscriptions, in-app purchases for again, like if you want in-game currency, you need to set these up, okay? And so this is a good one to do. It doesn't take long, it's just tedious, okay? Um, let me know in the comments if there's anything else that I missed that you wanna me to cover and I'll do a specific video for it and show you. Uh, but I mainly wanted to kind of give you a rundown of how this works. Okay, we'll see you. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to follow. Um, we have a community of developers to help others finish their games. So, see you later.